So we are at ADC. 2022 Australian Dodgeball Championship. The Dodgeball dudes are here. The best teams all around Australia coming to this place to place first and see who's the best team in Australia that plays dodgeball. Oh, <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. The post production looks awesome. Thank you. Hi, Kana. Hello. Kana. What is it? It's pajamas? Dodgeball. Yeah. Oh, are you silly? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, it's comfy. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh my god, the quality of the content is what I love. It's like so clear. We try. I can't I can't do this guy. It looks so different. <laughs> Me? <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while. It has been a while. Welcome back to another episode of the Dodgeball Dudes. I'm Phil, that's Peter. Behind here is Steph, and we have Nico with us. Hello. How do you pronounce your last name again? Senevi Ratner. Senevi Ratner. Oh wow, that's good. All right, Nico, how do you keep so calm on court? Um, I don't know, I think, I think I was just born with this face. You might think I'm calm, but on the inside, it's like, very turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Taekwondo's got something to it, because it's very like... Yes, yes. Um, you know, I think martial arts had a huge, I guess, influence on yeah. how I carry myself and my, my behavior in general. So if I do look calm on court, it's because, you know, I'm, I guess, because I think it helps. Because you feel like too riled up and you're, you get your, let your emotions get the best of you. Yeah. You might not perform as well. Yeah. I think if your emotion is anything but calm, the other team can use it in some way to the advantage, isn't it? 100%, yeah. yes. What do you do to stay calm? I just try to focus on what's important. No matter what happens on court, whether you, whether your team makes a mistake, whether I make a mistake, I just try and focus on what my role is and what I need to do. And that, I guess that keeps me focused. Trying to not get caught up in that negative feedback loop and just like focusing on what you need to do, just one step at a time. I think we're good. No worries. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thanks for having me on. Welcome back to another episode of the Dodgeball Dudes. I'm here with Dev. Hello. And we're going to ask him some questions about dodgeball. What do you think is your best skill in dodgeball? Oh. So we've got blocking, dodging, catching and throwing. Shit talking. <laughs> <laughs> tips, shit. tips for shit, shit, shit talking for beginners or <laughs> so Dodgeball is a mental game. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get in your opponent's head. That's true. That is so true. <laughs> the best thing you can do as a beginner is learn good throwing mechanics early because it's really hard to unlearn a bad throw. I know that you guys have got a really good video on that. Do you go like this and then you yes. put a thing in yes. the thing? Yeah, oh! it's up here, it's up here. Yeah, yeah, it's up <laughs> If you had one wish for dodgeball, what would that be? I, so I would really like to see dodgeball grow as a sustainable sort of financial own sport. There's a lot of talk about getting government recognition, getting in the Olympics, that sort of things. But when I look at all the most legitimate sports now, the new ones, they're not sports that rely on being able to get grants from the government. They're sports that have got a product that people like to watch that can sell themselves and be, you know, financially sustainable from that perspective. I think Dodgeball has that product. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much fun to watch. So I really think it's all moving in the right direction. This tournament, live stream courts, commentators, yes. like it's all what you need. But that's that's my wish, definitely. Is yeah, that it? it? Thank you. Awesome. All right, so with our hoodies, we have four colors. Yep. First 50, only 50 printed. We've got a first 50 here. 50 printed in variety of colors and sizes. So this is the standard logo, and yeah. that is blank face. Because we always do a blank dead stare at the end of our old cards <laughs> or anything. <laughs> Right, that's that. I feel like I'm being hugged Dude. by a cloud. Yeah. It's so warm and so snug. This is, this is delightful. Yeah. You look gangster. Do you do? I'm a born gangster. <laughs> <laughs> you are gangster. Great, two, one! Are you nervous? <laughs> you will hold my hand. <laughs> yeah, someone can hold you. I will. Ainsley, hold my hand. hand. I need to hold his hand. He's very shy. So. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Blood Bowl Days. We've got Ashley and he's very nervous. So he's and Ainsley hands. and Will. Yes. What would you say your biggest strength is? Probably your my throwing. Throw, for sure. Despite everything else, if you can't throw a ball and hit someone, then it's really hard to like win games or do well for your team. How do you practice to become more accurate? The way I do it, like, Throw faster first, get, build the power. Once you have enough power, you take off some power, use some of the muscle for accuracy, and then build it back up. Ooh! So it's like a, a trade-off. That's interesting. 
What do you think of the basketball community? It's interesting because like in every state it's quite different. Like in Sydney, I feel like New South Wales is really wholesome, like super wholesome. In Vic, we're getting there. It's more like a community. It's got a culture, being fostered. More in touch. Yeah. More in touch. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Knowledge of Dudes. I'm here with... Oh, Ainsley. <laughs> And we are holding hands again. Yes. Can we get any tips for beginners on dodgeball? Anything, just like someone's coming in, they're like on the fence, like, I don't know, I want to play, but I'm not good at this and that. Oh, I would say just have fun first. Have fun. Because if you don't have fun, you're not going to start like coming, playing. So having fun is most important. Yes. How do you deal with all the attention from girls on the sidelines? <laughs> There's no attention from girls. There's no attention from girls. Ashley gives me the most attention. It's like an older brother to me. That's all I ask for. <laughs> Cloth is the very fast paced sort of version of dodgeball. Yep. There's uh, only five balls instead of six. Okay. The sets only go for three minutes each. And okay. once the sets end, whoever has the most players wins. I'm in Team Victoria. Okay. Victoria would probably be the biggest state, but Adelaide's got a really good team this year. Mm. So it should be exciting. It can be quite daunting yes. with the balls. How yes. they're so like heavy in a way like, and uh, look at the ball up close yeah it's quite hard to throw yeah. isn't it yeah you have to have like sort of grip strength you have to grip certain parts of the ball and sort of get your fingers sort of dug into it yeah. to get hold it i can feel there's like little bits that yeah. you can like squeeze into yeah. and oh. like oh this feels good here because there's like yeah. I completely forgot about another rule is what is you it? can go yes, out yes, okay. yes. i think if you miss more than half a meter of a player you're out yeah, How is that a rule? Yeah, like, you have to be really accurate with your throws as well. So, Just say if you completely like miss the ball, like wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> you just go out, the person who threw it. Yeah. Speaking of trying out, should we try out for? Yeah, cloth. Yeah. Alright guys, so we are going to try it for, uh, cloth dodgeball for the first time. This is a very different game to foam. So let's try it out and uh, see if we can actually throw these balls. Look, this is the difference in the size. <laughs> and just look at this. That's a big difference. That is a big difference. All right, let's do it. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't even pick it up properly. This is going to be very interesting. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Oh, f***. <laughs> <laughs> is that this arm? Yeah, get it! <laughs> Sounds a fake. Ah. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 I can't believe you got that! That's uh, DBD. Oh. Those cloth. The balls feel really weird. You let it float off your fingertips. Don't even grip it that much. Just, Just let it like. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's like this. Nice! So I didn't even grip it. I'm just there and I'm just like slingshotting it. Yeah! Hope you enjoyed that episode of Dr. Wadid's Try Cloth. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Albert. Indulge in a taste harmony of a unique flavor and Sorry. smooth texture. I'm here with Cam. Hi. So I started playing in uh, 09. I started out as a player back in the, the old days and played for Australia in 2014 when, no offence to everyone then, but we were a little bit then, but <laughs> everything's a lot better. Then I started coaching. I coached a little bit of cloth in 2016, foam in 2017 and 2018. And then I've done a little bit of selection for the teams here and there, hanging around. So you've, you've seen like the past 10 years of dodge five days. Where do you see the next 10 years of dodge five? Yes. I, I just want to see the quality keep getting better uh, over the last however many years it's definitely gone up and up the big thing is spreading that like there's there's always been these big like you can only get so high when you've only got a small number of people at that level yes. in order to kind of keep pushing it up you need the base to spread wider and get higher as well so i would like to see both internationally yes. and in local leagues that development of that base the more that comes up you, you raise the floor that allows the ceiling to go higher. Yes. So I think like spreading that 
spreading that base community development, getting in more nations at an international level, yes. and um, yeah, developing your local talent. Yeah. Is how we're and I would better. also say like in, in unis and in schools, yeah, like that's a big big yes, place definitely. for it. That's the that's the demographic that we're looking to get involved. Yes. Right? That you know, 18, 16 yeah. to, to 22 year olds is, is where we're going to get in. And if we can get in even younger, that's even better. Yeah. Thank you so much, Cam. No worries. Really appreciate it. Women's dodgeball, right? Yes. Um, there's like a lot of women who like maybe a bit scared of dodgeball, maybe they're just scared to get in the face and like that. But like, what, what advice would you give for them to want to join and play? Honestly, I think women aren't given the ball enough in mixed dodgeball. One of the things I say to brand new girls is, you with a ball is a threat. Don't give it away to someone else. Because you see them, they pick up the ball immediately, pass to the men. No, you've got a ball, you've got a weapon, use it. And if you get hit, you learn from that, um, which is tough love. But honestly, once they get the courage to actually go up and throw, from then it's upwards. Because from there they learn, okay, I need to block to survive. And it's getting the will to want to throw first, mm. that's what it is. And honestly, it comes from teammates as well. Like mm. the men need to know that women don't need to earn their spot on court. Women belong on court mm. and in teams. Yeah, they're not just support players, they're like supporting your wings, you know? So you have to give them as much as respect as the, the wing players. Because yeah, if you end up with like the girls not ever throwing and then they end up being last, it's yeah. like, how can you expect them to win the game? Exactly, them a ball? exactly, yeah. yeah. Women aren't there to be pretty. <laughs> you do damage. That's what they're there to do. The damage. I think what I really enjoy about Adelaide Dodgeball is they do treat the women the same as men. Mm. Like maybe my second season of starting, we had Jess Madford on a wing, and I remember being shocked. And the first time I went to API in Geelong, I saw Mel from the Demons calling, and I literally went up to her and I was like, "Wow, I can't believe you know they've given you responsibility." Yeah. To call. And I looked up to her. And, you know, she can hold a wing, she can catch a ball. And from there, I was like, yes, you know what? As a woman, I can do that too. Yes, you can, definitely. So we're on the last part of day two. It is the mixed semi-finals games. We've got Mavericks versus Gorillas. And we've got Minotaurs versus a South Australian team. It's actually so crazy. So Minos win on, on court two, Mavs win on court one, New South Wales versus New South Wales in the ADC 2022. Let's go. New South Wales. <laughs> <laughs> We are at the day three of ADC finals. Swap gold, then we have men's gold, mixed gold, women's gold. Stay at gold, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a great day for dodgeball dudes in the recording today. I'm so pleased. Getting, getting so much good content. <laughs> We're here with Nicky Nguyen, who is from Adelaide Dodgeball, and he is the dedicated dodgeball physio. You see a lot of dodgeball players for the injuries. Yeah. So what are some tips to like prevent the injury, walking into dodgeball, like pre-game like, routine? Do you have any suggestions on yeah, how people can kind of warm up? Yep. So, with warm-ups, you want to spend 10 to 15 minutes warming up the body. The main aim for warm-up is getting the blood moving. So you don't want to do too much static stretching because you'll be too relaxed. But it's okay to have a little bit of static stretching, no longer than 15 seconds. So the main things like, you know, going for a jog, doing something like bear crawls or some like dynamic movement. If you're a rusher, for example, it's good to warm up with some jogs and sprints. If you're like a really good dodger, it's good to warm up with like jumps and then drops to your knees. Something that's specific to the type of game style you play so there's no point warming up completely different to how you play what do you think of the tournament so far very impressive i would say mm. i'm trying to find the right word for it like i think the caliber the skill caliber has like raised immensely and you can easily tell by the results of the semi-finals the grand finals the score is always so tight like it never is no not tight yeah and that just is a testament of like how hard the teams work to yes. make sure that they can like win. Yeah. Right now it's the women's grand finals. Mm -hmm. We've got Sirens versus Serpents, I believe. Yep. South Australian Serpents. It's very hard for even New South Wales to be in the top four in the whole thing, but then once we get into the semis and grands, it really puts New South Wales on the map. Mm. I love that. But I think WA definitely put themselves on the map this year. Yeah. 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 But last year there were the teams that like weren't, you know, up there but now they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like they've, they've really progressed a lot. Another episode of the Dodgeball Dudes. I'm here with Simone. I've actually known her for a while. I don't know if Peter mentioned, but we versed you when you were in Queens. Yeah, good old Queens. Uh, yeah, and we lost like 11 0. 
um, that was our very first game, so thank you for whooping our ass. I remember you will always run as the catcher, and you are still <laughs> always do. Any tips? Uh, well, I do a weird catch style. I do the one-handed catch. How, as in, how's that? I, so I've broken my thumb a lot of times, so I, instead of catching with two hands, I catch with one hand. Yeah. So I have one ball in my hand and catch with the other ball. So I go chicken wing or industry super fun. Wait, what? <laughs> what was the second one? Industry Just, super fun. It, you know what? I always wanted to. I always thought yeah. this was a good catching technique too, but I never actually tried it. Yeah, it works out really well. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one's chicken wing. Yeah. So it's as in you have a ball, you throw that ball, or you fake and you trap the other one in. Oh. So because you get that ball and you trap them together. You, you want to get the catcher out. Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you do it if you know that they're really good at catching? So it's either just full pelt, go for the feet, or be in close enough distance, and then you kind of bait them a little bit by going for a couple of blocks first and then next time when you you can kind of see they're getting a little bit tired then you just go for the catch instead but if they're going for a catch every time just keep going slightly away slightly away slightly away and just wait till they get tired enough that's so interesting and then you go. yeah i think that's it Excellent. let's watch this <laughs> To make it official, 10-5 is your final score. It's all over, folks. Welcome back to another episode of The Dodgeball Dudes. I'm here with Jake Divin, and he's from WA. I am from WA. And we're here at ADC 2022, and you guys got the bronze for mix. Oh, men's, sorry, for bronze for men's. Men, sorry. We won bronze, so, our first ever medal for like, WA. So how, how did you get to it? The training, the drills, the, the, the journey? <laughs> The journey, oh, it has been a journey. WA was fortunate enough to not have much in the way of lockdown, so we were able to um, keep training for a lot of that period. Oh. Um, so that was really on our side, yeah, actually. So actually. We, we only really train once a week, Sunday mornings. Uh, we've done that pretty consistently for a few years. But it's really fun, but it's really refreshing to yeah. be able to play games over here and versus new players and play styles. And you guys have progressed so much as well. It's yeah. so good to see, actually so good to see. <laughs> Don't remind me of 2019. <laughs> One thing to do and tips for beginners not to do for catching. <laughs> don't reach. Yep, don't reach is always <laughs> and, the best one. And just being able to transition between different catching zones. Yeah. So up, upper chest is a lot of clutches, a lot of in your fingertips against grabbing it against the chest. Uh, kind of your centre part is crumpled catches. Yeah. You bend over. Crumpled catches. I love you that. You like crumples. Yeah. And then below your kind of your that pocket, it becomes fingers again, and then it kind of becomes snatches. And you, you keep your fingers wide, and the ball kind of just fits into the hands and sort of grabs itself. So there's kind of three different zones. Right, this is the first time I've heard someone explain three catching zones. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, it's, it's you can sort of see it when you watch, I mean, it's Nico's true. playing behind yeah, us. Yeah. He does a bit of that too, but mostly he, he actually catches with his hands. He's yeah. just got great hand-eye coordination. Yeah. Wow, and his, uh, and his snatches are really good. Yes, yes. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. It's time for the grand final match between Mavericks and Minotaurs. It's been a long weekend and it's leading to this, so let's see how it all goes. Pretty much, you um, know, came out on top. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on notification bell, comment, you know. Let us know what you want to see in the next video. <laughs> this group will provide. I love that, I love that. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh.